All right, so right here I have the WL Toys uh, 12428 with uh, some progress on the custom body right now with some brushless stainless steel. Uh, it won't last this nice for long. It'll be all scratched up, sure enough, after a few flips, but nonetheless, it's pretty nice. I mean, line those up quite quite wrong but regardless it's on so that one was a tough bend because I don't have like a a break or anything here but use the grinder to get close enough to my scratch marks which I just use the outline of this guy you know the original body panels flattened it out on a piece of steel there <sighs> on this side the coated plastic coated side just drew that with a pen and uh, cut it out then used a blending disc to get close to the lines and just eyed it out make sure it was nice for the marks I just use this nice precision ruler. Um, went down to the 32nd of an inch, tried to at least, but um, yeah, they lined up pretty nicely. Kind of skipped down here with the grinder, as you see. I'm not too happy about that, but I'm gonna have to live with it. Uh, that was today. It took me about two hours to do that. Uh, like I said, I didn't really have the best tools to do this, so I had to makeshift whatever I could. I'm going to be doing these panels tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, I used 1 8 drill bit for these guys. It's uh, I wouldn't go bigger than that just because probably won't hold the screw in for very long. <clears throat> the screw won't hold it down, I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah. I enjoyed doing this so far, so um, I, I like how it looks. I'm excited to get the rest done. I have more than enough to mess up and restart if I have to with the side panels here. It's adding definitely quite a decent amount of weight to it already, which um, is not the best because you got some extra weight on the highest part of the body. You're going to have more top heaviness to deal with than these guys. If you have one, you'll know if you got like some decent traction while you're running it, maybe on grass or whatever, and you're turning at a good speed, you'll freaking flip it. And, uh, yeah, this extra weight will make it want to flip more, so. Just got to be nice and easy on the throttle, on turns. Don't turn too sharp, depending on how fast you're going, that's all. Make it more realistic anyways, it's fun. So, I'll get these done. I might have to do uh, one, two, three bends, I'm expecting. Uh... These guys should be easy enough, other than when I have to hold them and grind them. Or, yeah, grind them down. I like this little guy here. I want to eventually put a servo underneath his head, just attached to his head, because when I screw there, it seems like they want you to do that. Take that screw off and put a little shaft up to his, his head and attach a servo up to a new receiver because you can't use the old receiver slash ESC unit because uh well you just can't <laughs> there's no plugins or no ports or whatever connections that you, you can be made to this thing other than what's already on it um so you swap that out and uh put in a receiver separate from the ESC obviously and 
you'll be able to add another servo to this guy just put it on the steering channel or one that controls the steering channel if that'll work um, and yeah glue this glue the servo under there and just have him turn his head every time he's turning the wheel as if he's looking in the direction that he's turning that'll look pretty cool it's all it's all aesthetic stuff right I, I like having my stuff look nice the headlights um, that came with this guy they look pretty damn sweet when you're driving towards you and you have the headlight meet up with your like retinas or whatever and just makes that really sweet glow as if you were watching uh, you know like a Baja buggy or something coming down the desert race and just ah, you see the headlights coming and shit it looks cool but uh, yeah I'm enjoying this little project so far this is just aesthetics this is the first thing I only put like four batteries through this so far took it to the beach the other day oh the steering assembly actually jammed up on me and I'm glad I caught it I noticed it wasn't turning too well um, and I thought maybe the steering servo gave out but luckily it was just a bunch of sand got into the little there's like a sliding uh, hold on one second yeah I could tell you you guys are gonna get pissed off if I don't tell you what I'm talking about because I would this piece right here connected to your steering link this black um, this black piece right here slides in and out of a little holder just like it's pretty much a guide just to keep this nice and straight and everything aligned nicely and tight together so it's not bouncing around but 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 sand and water will get in there and jam and you'll be like why can't I turn well like barely turn at all and then you bring it in you're trying to steer and it's like feel seized like maybe the gears are done inside the steering servo or something but at that point don't even try and turn it because you're just going to overheat or just overstress that steering servo and break it all i did to fix this problem was bring it home i poured uh water out of a glass right on top right on the bottom blew it out with my mouth and that's it just moved it with my hands put my thumbs on each side of the these parts here and just move the back. You don't want to grab your uh, servo arm. You don't want to grab these. Just, just do it like this, trust me. It's going to be easier, it's going to feel better. You're not going to put as much stress on everything. <sighs> Other than that, lost focus what I was saying. Oh yeah, I haven't had this for long. Four batteries through it already. I uh, got a couple days ago, four batteries through it, and I did this so far. Just just aesthetics looks. That's that's what I was talking about. Next, however, excuse me, I will be just replacing the uh, this suspension. These shocks I do not like at all. They don't even like they don't even retract or whatever spring back. Um, and the rear spring back and bounce like, you know, some Walmart toy, but I'm not blaming anybody. What do you expect for, uh, I paid a hundred dollars, including shipping for this Canadian. Um, and I'm very happy with that. You know, I'm used to spending three, four hundred dollars on a new Traxxas or HPI, the big big name brands and 